Yes, the answer, 100%, yes. No, it's not too late. You can make a YouTube right now and still 100% be able to benefit from it. Oh, I see it all the time. Like it's oversaturated, it's too late. No, like do it now. Trust me. Okay, so YouTube 2021, why right now is the best time for anybody to really get started on this platform? Also, side note, just because I'm telling you to make a YouTube channel this year and actually like do some stuff with it, doesn't mean like you do one video, you're just gonna blow up. It's not that easy, not get rich quick scheme here. Like, but it still takes effort. But what I'm trying to tell you is that right now in 2021, it's probably like, one of the best times for a lot of people to start and like really get into stuff. Now that you have sites growing at a rapid pace like Twitter, Instagram, and the main one, TikTok, being able to drive people to your YouTube channel, like the fact that 800 million active users are on TikTok, which allows you the chance to be discovered on there, thus giving you an opportunity to turn those people to YouTube, that right there should be enough incentive to say like, hey, start grinding TikTok for short form content and then make some long form stuff on YouTube. Every day, more and more people are coming to YouTube to look up how to's or to get sucked into that like midnight weird YouTube video rabbit hole. Don't lie to me. We've all done that. I look up one Photoshop tutorial. Next thing you know, two hours later, I'm like looking at the world's biggest snake swimming through the Amazon. Like, how does that happen? But then also, for example, like I just mentioned, the how-to thing. How-to's are a huge way to kind of like introduce yourself into this platform. I'm sure everybody watching this video knows something about something. The problem is you're too discouraged to make a how-to video because you think, everybody knows how to do something that maybe you just know how to do. For example, like changing the oil in your car or, or changing the tire of a, a 98 Honda Civic. Maybe you know how to stain wood properly. The problem is you're not making those videos because you think somebody else has done it. And that may very well be, but you could put your own unique spin onto those how-to videos. The reason I'm pointing out how-to videos is because how-to videos alone in the past few years have grown year by year at 70%, 70% a year. I have videos from like four years ago that every year they just get tens of thousands of more views because people are still looking up those tutorials years later. Believe me when I say, you know how to do something and you could make videos on that that would bring people into whatever it is that you are creating. Ah, damn it, out of coffee. <laughs> creator or somebody just wanting to try to promote their business even, what's the point of even putting yourself on a social media platform? To bring in new people, to bring in new viewers, to bring in new customers, to be able to be discovered on the website. When you're talking YouTube alone, it's the second most visited website in the world, right behind Google, which as you know, Google owns YouTube and a majority of the traffic from the most visited website in the world goes to YouTube, making it a perfect platform to have an even playing field, meaning there's a lot of people on there, so there's still a lot of opportunity to grow. And no, it's not slowing down anytime soon. I mean, we're talking two billion monthly active users. There are 7.8 billion people on this planet. Like, do the math. You wanna hear something more crazy? Like, if this doesn't tell you there's room for opportunity to come across new people, I don't know what will. 79% of internet users have a YouTube account. 79% of the internet has access to YouTube. <laughs> what? 81% of 15 to 25 year olds in the United States of America actively use YouTube. Let's see if I can see how many 15 to 25 year olds there are. As of July 2019, from 15 and 19 year olds, there are 10.75 million males and 10.31 million females. From 20 to 24, there are 11.6 million males and 10.57 million females. That is over 40 million people. So 80% of 40 million 
Americans use YouTube actively. Take in mind, YouTube has grown substantially since some of these stats have dropped that I'm talking about. Some of them are from 2019, some of them are from 2020. But the whole concept is, the only thing I could really think about in 2021, why a lot of people would be intimidated to start YouTube is because there's like, millions of channels. There's already so many people already doing it and they're doing it big. But you gotta remember too, like thousands of people hit million subscribers last year. Hundreds of people hit 10 million subscribers last year. Yes, there are people that are already like going at it and are successful AF, but that doesn't mean the room for you to grow on here is not there. I started to realize there was something special going on with YouTube moving into 2021 as of recent when I had a handful of buds that I noticed on Call of Duty Warzone were absolutely blowing up on the platform. Guys that I've never heard of in my entire life, tens, twenties, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, getting millions of views a month on the platform, making simple how-to videos, humorous content, anything that they can specifically around Call of Duty Warzone. That is like one thing out of like the thousands, hundreds of thousands of ideas and topics that these people are producing content around and they are absolutely killing it right now. I mean, at this point, it's like every day I find a new Minecraft, Fortnite, or Call of Duty YouTuber that has like five million subscribers and I've never heard of them in my life. So what do you think the statistical odds are at that rate that you could be the next person to generate a million subscribers based on your content and a lot of people would never know but still have the chance to find you? What do you think the odds are that you could have millions of people still find you that don't know who you are? Oh, enchanté. Honestly, I don't see it slowing down anytime soon. If you think in the world of like TV even, YouTube is the second most preferred platform to watch on a television. Watching videos on TV, which obviously millions of people do, the top dog being Netflix. Side note, that's one thing I've noticed with live streaming on YouTube, is I will have a larger amount of viewers at time that are not talking in chat. My assumption is that people are watching me on the TV, so they're far away, so they're not like typing on chat. I've actually had quite a few viewers confirm this, that they actually enjoy the idea that YouTube is already on their smart TV. They pop by my stream and they can just watch me while they like make up or do whatever they need to do in the living room or bedroom. Wait, people watch me in their bedroom? But there's still mobile users too, because more than 70% the views on YouTube come from mobile. So it's like crazy that YouTube is pushing out so much content at like every hour and moment that not only is it so desired on televisions, the majority of its views still come from mobile. So it's like a mobile and TV powerhouse, which gives you the opportunity to like really grow based off of whatever content that you wanna do. If you wanna be that like how-to person that maybe shows people how to cook, or fix things around the house or, or just little intricate stuff like how to put toys together. You can produce that quality content that people can watch on their TVs or watch on their phones when they are on the go. If you wanna just be that memer that somebody checks out on their lunch break, you have that opportunity. All I know is this, like 10 years ago, I hit 1,000 subscribers on my first ever channel that I worked really hard on for years. And then I ended up deleting it because I didn't think that YouTube was gonna go far for me. I thought it was like very oversaturated. I really gave in to the idea of like, I'm a nobody on this platform. So I created a new channel, came back swinging, right? I just gave you guys that story of when I created this channel and four years ago today, I hit 500 subscribers on this channel. Today, we actually might hit 23,000 subscribers, which reminds me, if you're not sub, do that now and turn on those notifications. Appreciate it, thank you so much for the support. But why I'm telling you this is, one, over these years, I have still found a chance in 2020 and 2021 to grow. To spread my voice and content amongst this platform, I have that opportunity. And alongside me, I have fellow friends and content creators who are just getting started and are experiencing the same growth with me. And yeah, you could be negative mindset on that. Like, yeah, when I started, I didn't just get 10,000, 15, 20,000 subscribers overnight. I look at my friends like Jayhawk, Franco, Big Rob Energy, a couple new people I've been checking out, like Arca Technology from TikTok. And if I was to compare myself to them from when I started off, it, it's astronomical how much better they're doing at a faster rate. But that's not the point. We are in 2021 and we are all making moves. YouTube is pushing all of our stuff out there. New users are finding us every single day, but there are still millions of people that have never even heard of us. And they're on YouTube, baby. And I'm going to find them.
I, I promise, 100K this year, maybe a mil down the line once we kind of like perfect our craft here. I guess to end it off, all I just want to say is this. Just because it's taken you a long time, just because it didn't work before, just because you think there's a lot of people here, doesn't mean that you don't have a chance. Trust me when I say you go out, create stuff, bring value to your content in some way. It doesn't have to be how to's. Maybe it can be just a general escape from like reality for some people. If you do that and put in the work and figure out how this site works for you, you have a high chance of killing it on YouTube in 2021. That is it, go, actually wait, stay, shout out to the video, like we wanna give some love. So on the side here, you're gonna see the members of the last month. I wanna get a big shout out to those people. In my last video, I started a challenge to take back 2021 as creators. And with that, for a shout out, I asked that you guys post take back 2021 in the comments of the video. Today's shout out goes to Fluffy, a very active member and supporter of not only my community, but also some homies around us. Fluff, seriously, we couldn't do the things that we do on a day by day basis if it wasn't for people like you. So big shout out to you. Everybody go check Fluff out in the description of the video. If you guys would like a chance to have a shout out in the next video, simply include YT21 in the comments down below. If you guys didn't catch on, that's YouTube 2021, like for short, so YT21. I'll pick one of you amazing people in the next video, shout you out. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Go get uh, your YouTube content plan for 2021. I'm serious.